days. With students returning to the classroom in West Michigan, districts are working to reduce the risk of COVID-19. Kent, Kalamazoo, Ottawa, and Allegan County Health Departments have all issued mask mandates for younger students. News 8's Kyle Mitchell has more on how districts are responding to this requirement. In Kent County, masks are required through sixth grade. Forest Hills already had a requirement in place before that mandate was issued. I will bring paper around. Masks are what in-person learning looks like at Northern Trail's fifth and sixth grade school. They've been used to, uh, when they're inside school buildings, to wear masks. Forest Hills Superintendent Dan Beam says the Friday order by the Kent County Health Officer requiring masks for students not old enough to be vaccinated did not change the district's plans. The decision to require masks for the age group had already been made with the goal of giving parents more notice. It gave students and families and everyone a chance to uh, really wrap their brains around that we're coming back to school. These are crowded indoor environments and we want all of our kids to be healthy and safe. Tables in the lunchroom are spread out to reduce any potential virus transmission. Masks are also not required outdoors in the playground because of the open air ventilation. Beam says masks, while not foolproof, are one way to reduce the coronavirus risk. With uh, our students having masks, what we're able to do is give the freedom for kids who have not been in school for the last 17 months who have compromised uh, health issues. And so now those kids are able to come back to school. Rockford Public Schools did have to quickly change its policy after the county mask order was issued. It's not that we have the flexibility to say, well, maybe, or we'll try to work things out. It's a public health order. And it's something that we are mandated and required to do. Superintendent Mike Scheibler says the district's policy originally left the decision on mask wearing to the parent, which is still the case for seventh grade and above. He says the district will follow the law, but some parents might not have been aware of the order on the first day. Unless they have a medical reason in those grades, validated by an MD or a DO, uh, for medical reasons, uh, we're going to tell them they have to eventually, you know, within the next several days, you got to wear the mask. In Kent County, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.